Rappers in the relationships with their jewelers, the suspect. I know it ain't nothing y'all balling, but it's like they be in Icebox every week. I'm starting to think the label forced them to go buy ice. Like Uzi Locks falling out, but he getting ice. And I know what y'all gonna say, oh, you pocket watching you, bro. You hating because you can't get a chain. But I just find it interesting because I feel like these jewelers is playing on us. Why? Like, you know Icebox and Johnny Dank upscale y'all, right? It's not even a secret. It, you can search it up. This markup can vary from low as 5% to high as 300% in more cases in diamond jewelry. This diamonds that come out the earth, material that you connected with, our ancestors connected with, people I make my own stones. But this agenda that they pushing that you gotta have a chain, a lot of people, bro, they feel like they, they not even a real artist if they don't got a chain, man. This thing is eating at our subconscious. That's why I rock with gold. At least if you get gold, you can melt it down. But y'all getting these bedazzled diamond chains, y'all getting scammed. They got diamond testers that will read the diamond or the stone, whatever stone it is that they fooling you with. Make it seem like you VVs, but look at this, like Roddy Rich. He, I remember I made this video, right, and everybody was commenting like, oh, you mad, you mad. But this man bought a, a chain that said, feed the streets. Why don't you just, like, use that money to open up a small community center? Like, it's just, I don't know, maybe I'm just tripping. But then I got to thinking, what if this the only thing rappers can do with their label money? Because we know it's not their money. Anybody who signed to a contract, anybody who an A-list, anybody who getting funded by any record label, I don't care if it's Atlantic, any of them, bro. They have a certain way on how they have to spend their money. They have to go to interviews. They have to. They they have handlers. So I get confused when I see stuff like this because I'm like, they must have to have them chains because they're property. Like you don't see a beeb in them wearing all this. You know what I'm saying? But they selling it to you and they marking it up. Listen, man, these stones naturally come from the earth. You know, clear quartz is stronger than diamond, but they don't want to tell you that. I ain't gonna lie, I did a couple of Google searches and it showed that the diamond is at a higher frequency than a regular clear quartz, but that just depend on which one you working with. Google be running their own little game. Y'all know they fall in the same family. And if y'all knew how much they was upscaling you on these pieces that they grab naturally from their homelands or they plug wherever they get them from, you'd be surprised. Half of the time they're not paying nothing. They just grabbing it out the mountains because they know it's about information. Now I know y'all want to say so bad we royalty back in ancient Kemet. Back when the aboriginals ran the land, we had stones and adorned and jewels. That's true. We've been royalty, right? But we never paid no foreigner for jewels. Also didn't pay for water, food, drinks, neither on our land. So we had rights. Now we not moving like our ancestors. We moving real goofy. I feel like these rappers have to buy these chains, bro. Because notice, most independent artists don't be buying a chain every week. But any A-list artist, they get new chains. Every, it's like they always in icebox. What's so great in there that you have to keep spending 30 to 40, 50, 10, 15? Come on. Y'all got to see through this illusion, man. Am I tripping? You know what I'm saying? Or is the icebox conspiracy true?